One Histology and Histotechnique by Dr. Tarek Hatia. Objectives of the lecture 1. To know about different types of microscopes. 2. To know about tissue handling. 3. To know the types of fixatives used in histology. 4. To know the factors affecting fixation. 5. To know about tissue processing. 6. To know about decalcification. Microscopy Light microscope, electron microscope, scanning, transmission, fluorescence microscope, inverted microscope, phase contrast microscope, light microscope. Light microscopic pictures Electron microscopic picture Tissue preparation for light microscope Tissue specimens received in the surgical pathology laboratory have a request form that lists the patient information and history along with a description of the site of origin. One fixation The purpose of fixation is to preserve tissues permanently in as lifelike state as possible. Fixation should be carried out as soon as possible after removal of the tissues to prevent tautolysis. There is no perfect fixative, though formaldehyde comes the closest. Therefore, a variety of fixatives are available for use, depending on the type of tissue present and features to be demonstrated. Types of fixatives There are five major groups of fixatives, classified according to mechanism of action. Aldehydes, mercurials, alcohols, oxidizing agents, picrates. Aldehydes include formaldehyde, formalin, and glutaraldehyde. It is good for immunohistochemistry techniques. Formalin penetrates tissue well, but is relatively slow. The standard solution is 10% neutral buffered formalin. Mercurials fix tissue by an unknown mechanism. They contain mercuric chloride and include such well-known fixatives as zencas. These fixatives penetrate relatively poorly and cause some tissue hardness, but are fast and give excellent nuclear detail. Alcohols, including methyl alcohol, methanol, and ethyl alcohol, ethanol. However, they are very good for cytologic smears because they act quickly and give good nuclear detail. Picrates include fixatives with picric acid. Oxidizing agents include permanganate fixatives, potassium permanganate, dichromate fixatives, potassium dichromate, and osmium tetroxide. Picrates include fixatives with picric acid. Foremost among these is Boone's solution. Two factors affecting fixation. There are a number of factors that will affect the fixation process. Buffering fixation is best carried out close to neutral pH in the range of 6 to 8. Penetration of tissues depends upon the diffusibility of each individual fixative, which is a constant. The volume of fixative is important. The volume of fixative is important. There should be a 10 to 1 ratio of fixative to tissue. Increasing the temperature, as with all chemical reactions, will increase the speed of fixation. Concentration of fixative should be adjusted down to the lowest level possible. Time interval, also very important is time interval from removal of the tissues to the fixation. Tissue processing. The technique of getting fixed tissue into paraffin is called tissue processing. The main steps in this process are dehydration and clearing. 1. Dehydration. Gradual removal of water from the tissue using ascending grads of ethyl alcohol to prevent tissue shrinking. Clearing. Replacement of alcohol in tissue by clearing fluid like xylene, benzene, or acetone. 3. Embedding. Tissues are impregnated in paraffin. 4. Cutting. Paraffin block are cut by microtome using metal knife, into thin section 6 mu6. Mounting. Sections spread on the hot plate and mounted on glass slides. 7. Staining. 
variable stains are used for specific tissues. Automated tissue processor. Sectioning. Once the tissues have been embedded, they must be cut into very thin sections, 4 to 6 microns, that can be placed on a slide. This is done with a microtome. The important thing for proper sectioning is a very sharp knife. Frozen sections are performed with an instrument called a cryostat. The cryostat is just a refrigerated box containing a microtome. The temperature inside the cryostat is about minus 20 to minus 30 C. The tissue sections are cut and picked up on a glass slide. The sections are dried and then stained. Frozen sections. Staining. The embedding process must be reversed in order to get the paraffin wax out of the tissue and allow water-soluble dyes to penetrate the sections. Therefore, before any staining can be done, the slides are deparaffinized by running them through xylene then, to alcohols and lastly to water. There are no stains that can be done on tissues containing paraffin. Automated Stainer Frozen sections are stained by hand, because this is faster for one or a few individual sections. Cover slipping. The stained section on the slide must be covered with a thin piece glass to protect the tissue from being scratched, and to preserve the tissue section for years to come. Decalcification. Bone specimens as well as calcified tissues are the most type here. The calcium must be removed before embedding to allow sectioning. A variety of reagents have been used to decalcify tissue such as mineral acids, organic acids, EDTA, and electrolysis. Strong mineral acids such as nitric and hydrochloric acids. Strong acids will remove large quantities of calcium at a rapid rate, but they will cause damage of cellular morphology.